you're going to get a lot of trades throughout your career, right? If you're doing this for a long time, you're going to get a lot of trades, right? And you're going to hit a lot of days. And then there's going to be days that you're going to miss absolutely everything, right? Whether you were just watching the wrong stocks. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I had a, a really weird day today, and it's not good, it's not bad, it's kind of indifferent, but it was very, very odd. Uh, usually there's an old adage in, in trading, it's very, very dangerous to have a bias, right? Usually we talk about, we talk about um, you know, you don't want to paint yourself in a corner because if you're on the wrong side of the trade, you want to make sure that technical analysis is giving you all the data, uh, the green light to go. Um, but in my case today, in my case, I had incredible conviction on one stock today, like really, really big conviction. Um, and that was Tesla, right? If you guys remember uh, Monday, right? Really fantastic pivot on, on Tesla. It took out the 730 area had a really, really big move. Um, yesterday kind of had like a little bit, I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to call it an inside day because it was still building above that 730 level. But I really felt based on the way it was trading and the way it was just sitting over the channels, I thought today was going to be like a, a round three, right? Like a really big round three. And if you look at if you look at the order flow from the uh, options market, okay, uh, ever since the 730 break, and again, this was an awesome, awesome pivot. Uh, it started off the 718, confirmed the 730, so everything was great. Technically, the stock is great. So I was so fixated on Tesla today, and there was some crazy, really, really good aggressive pivots today. Unfortunately, because I had such a big bias on what I thought was going to happen in Tesla today, I literally missed the whole day, like literally missed the whole day. And it was so weird considering there was some really good moves. Apple was really good. Coinbase uh, went went really, really aggressively. Uh, DDD went. There was a lot of names that provided really great value. But unfortunately, because Tesla is my favorite stock and it's always my favorite stock, uh, this is the one that I really, really wanted. And the, the most ironic part about uh, today's session was that the value was there, but it all depends on what you were watching. And today was just one of those cases. A, a lot of times, you could get into you know you could get into a day and kind of paint yourself in a corner, and then you learn a valuable valuable lesson. You say, well, you know, I should have been so biased, and I shouldn't have been um, I shouldn't have been you know focusing on one side of the market. But today was just one of those cases for me, at least personally, that I was just so so engulfed in this one name that I literally missed the whole boat. I literally missed the whole parade. And um, I bought Tesla on the first break. It only ran up a dollar. It stalled out, broke even. I did it again, went up again, another dollar. Just kept on getting, it just there wasn't any juice in the stock, literally no juice in the stock off, off every single pivot that I was watching. I bought it on a dip into rising 60 minute support. It sat there, sat there, sat there, pretty much break even as well. So I sat there and I, and I just couldn't, it was one of those days that you felt like, at least I felt like a little bit off, right? Like I felt a little bit off and the worst part about it is kind of salt in the wound. The fact that I was so fixated on this one name that produced zero results for me today. Not good, not bad, but literally zero results. I basically wasted a whole day, watched everything else that I was watching pretty much do what it had to do and yada, 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 right? I am mentally exhausted. I am mentally exhausted. I have nothing, absolutely nothing to show for uh, today's session. And the, the one thing is, and I, and I keep on telling traders all the time, because you, you hear this all the time and, and you'll see it throughout your career. And that is, you know, people have a very, very hard time of missing trades, right? You, you see this all the time. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have kind of the same experience as everybody else. It, when you're new to this business, uh, when you miss a day or miss trades, it hurts, right? Because you feel like, oh, I was there. I was prepared for it. Um, I did everything in my power to put myself in a situation that I was right, right? I was right and I couldn't take, and I, and I couldn't participate. And I've, I've always maintained this fact, and this is where I, I think a lot of new traders really have to uh, embrace this, right? Embrace this for, you know, for their career. 
you're going to get a lot of trades throughout your career, right? If you're doing this for a long time, you're going to get a lot of trades, right? And you're going to hit a lot of days. And then there's going to be days that you're going to miss absolutely everything, right? Whether you were just watching the wrong stocks, uh, you were watching and had conviction like I had today on a Tesla trade that didn't happen, okay? And the moral of the story is the longer you trades, the market gods are going to they're kind of going to make you whole, right? For the ones you miss, the ones you hit, and eventually it kind of works out in between. And the most important part is you have to kind of accept it. Because if you don't accept it, you're going to be driving yourself crazy about names that you just had no power with because you just wasn't watching or your attention span was somewhere else. Again, guys, remember, we could only control, right? We could only control uh, what we can control, right? Whatever's in front of us. And sometimes you get the pivot, right? That goes up $7. And sometimes you get the pivot that goes up 60 cents and then comes all the way back down. Again, the market will eventually kind of balance you out. This is just the reality. The market will balance you out. Uh, you'll get some trades, you'll miss some trades, but the most important part is just embrace it. I know it's hard in the beginning because you look at that trade and you go, oh my God, I could have made this, I could have made that. You could have, should have, would have, blah, 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 blah. It happens, right? The faster you realize this is just all part of the business, the getting the trades, the missing the trades, the easier you'll have to come to grip, grip with it emotionally. Yeah, of course it sucks missing trades, right? It sucks missing trades, especially... Uh, you were prepared for them technically, and you just decided to focus your attention on somewhere else. But the reality is, like I said, market gods are going to balance you out throughout your career, and yada, yada, yada. Eventually, you'll get the ones that you missed and vice versa. So again, as much as it sucks that I missed a pretty, a pretty good session and just every level of Tesla kind of stalled out for me, look, is it the worst thing in the world? We're alive. We're healthy. And eventually, you know, the ones you're going to miss are eventually the ones you're going to hit. It's just mathematics. And sometimes, again, like I say all the time, luck does play a little bit of a part of it. So, again, let's talk about the tape. Uh, we are one day away from Labor Day weekend. Okay, I think everybody knows that. You saw, you know, you saw the volume kind of dry out here towards the end of the day. And more, and, and more important than that was you saw kind of this inverted hammer being put in on the cues, which is not a good thing, especially we had such a really, really big run here for the last two weeks that it would not shock me at all that the market is tired when it you know, start pulling back a little bit. Maybe not in some names and nobody, again, nobody's talking about, you know, sell the you know, baby with the bathwater and all that stuff. The market's going to zero. It, it just looks like the market's tired, right? Uh, names like Amazon that had this just an absolutely amazing, amazing run, right? You, you, Amazon went from, what, 31.75 to, what, 35.27 in a matter of two weeks. Again, inverted hammer, it's tired. Apple, there was a great pivot in Apple today. Can you guess where my attention was today, right? Did exactly the same thing. It looks like it's just tired. Um, a name like Facebook that had, again, a really, really big run. We had this really great pivot from here, and it confirmed here a couple of days ago on Monday. It just looks very, very tired. And if you look at the names, uh, if you look at the names like the semiconductors that had the really, really big run, you know, it put in three days in a row of higher, lower, lower highs. And again, I don't think this is something that we have to really dive deep in uh, going into next week when people start coming back after Labor Day. But I, I think it's something for us to be a little bit more conscious for tomorrow's session. Maybe you don't want to get too aggressive tomorrow, especially on strength. Maybe look at some names like Netflix today. And Netflix had a great PR today, by the way. Great, great PR. Uh, Seinfeld is coming to Netflix. If you remember how big of a deal was when The Office left Netflix and they got destroyed. Well, you could see the opposite, you know, opposite result of Netflix today when they announced that Seinfeld is coming October the 1st. So it's kind of a big deal. So maybe a name like Netflix, maybe tomorrow we'll watch into weakness. Uh, maybe a name, for example, um, you know, maybe a name, for example, like an open, like look at open. I, you know, I like this open chart, right? It had good earnings, sold off, and it's just, it's very, very close to breaking out. Again, maybe this is not something that I trade all the time or even look at, but, but I think going into tomorrow's session, if there is a possibility that we get that pre-holiday, I don't want to call it a sell-off, right? I don't, want to, I don't want to use that number. But if, if we have at least a rest, an organic rest, because the market just had this really great 
Uh, really, really great run in the last two weeks. Maybe it's just something to, just to watch for tomorrow. Maybe it'd be kind of a secondary situation. And I just came to the conclusion like after the close and I said, look, Tesla will run again. Okay, it will. Okay, um, but sometimes you just can't, you know, you just can't figure out that sweet spot after the initial break and a little frustrating this, that, the third, but again, life goes on. There'll always be uh, easier avenues. So um, I do like some names going in tomorrow. Um, look at letter U, right? Look at letter U. It's just been basing now for quite a while here. Um, it keeps on getting rejected at the top of this range here. I want to watch it. Maybe it doesn't trigger tomorrow, but I definitely, definitely want to watch it for the next few days. If this thing starts you know, basing out, you know, basing out and finally takes out this range. Maybe this thing can wake up. Uh, a name like FISV, uh, again, you know, had a big move up, consolidating sideways. You know, look, maybe this thing kind of wakes up here for the next couple of days or so and takes out the top of the range. But at least I'm looking at stocks that are not in orbit. It didn't have that, you know, two-week run that put in this massive, massive move. I'm looking for names that are just starting to come out of channels, kind of the same mantra uh, as I've been doing now for the last, you know, X amount of years, just looking for names that are not overextended. So if there is a pull, and again, I want to be conscious of that, it very, very well could be a pull just because of gravity, at least we'll be on the safer ranges than names that are having this really, really big run. And all of a sudden you look, turn around, and you're down $4 in the trade. Uh, also, Zoom, I, I, I kind of like Zoom. Well, not kind of, I like Zoom tomorrow. Um, it blew up on earnings, right? And I don't like it to the long side. It blew up on earnings and I got hit for like 55, 57 points. It attempted to run, right? It attempted to run. Uh, it got rejected off this Bollinger Band. Hey, listen, if Zoom starts breaking down uh, below yesterday's channel, why can't we get the next leg down? Again, there is room on this thing uh, all the way down to the 273 level. If you look what happened on Amazon, right? If you look at it happened on Amazon after it blew up, right? After it blew up, I don't know these were blew up, but after Amazon got hit on earnings, right? It rallied, got stuffed, and then went all the way down. So I, I am definitely watching uh, Zoom tomorrow uh, to the downside continuation from the earnings sell-off. And again, if I if I do expect, at least in my head, if there's a possibility of a back test in the market, wouldn't we want to be short the one that recently just got blown up on earnings? So something to watch for everybody uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. So let's quickly talk about the pivots that everything I missed today, right? It happened. So I was watching Tesla. It got stuffed, right? Got stuffed. So in the meantime, when I was watching Tesla, right, and I was putting all my energy, all my focus on Tesla, I missed everything else. Coin 264 needs to build, da 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 da, I missed coin, right? Took out 264 and it went to 272, just an absolutely uh, huge move on coin, I missed. Uh, letter U, again, sitting in the same number. Uh, GameStop actually gave a little bit of a pop. Uh, 227, 228 needs to build. Not a big move, but it gave a pop for all you guys who scalped it. Good job. Uh, took out this 227, 228, went to like a little under 232, and then big reversal uh, back to the downside. Uh, PLTR never got up there. XCLA never got up there. For all you guys who trained these little stocks, keep an eye on this uh, XCLA. Um, they were coming for the September $4 calls the last couple of days. Keep an eye on this thing. Uh, Starbucks, you know, never had a really good build uh, over that 18 level. Uh, Apple had a really good run. Again, I missed Apple. Uh, dip for experienced traders. Never got to the dip, but it confirmed 53.50 needs to build. And here is Apple, right? It took out the 53.50 and it went to uh, 55. Again, missed it as well. Um, snow, not a big move. Snow put up like a dollar, you know, seventy dollar eighty move. Uh, AMC, uh, AMC was a pivot yesterday. It got, you know, it, it had a really nice move yesterday. Uh, tested this level, obviously never confirmed. Um, DDD, nice little pop on DDD. Thirty one thirty needs to build. DDD, right here's the DDD. Thirty one thirty needs to build. Went to thirty two thirties. Nice pop there on DDD. Uh, again, these are all names that I missed, right? All names that I missed. Uh, NVIDIA, I still like. Net, nice little pop on net. Uh, 127.80, 128 needs to build. Here was net. Not a huge move because it already put on this average true range, but it gave, you know, gave like a $1.50, $1.70 pop on net. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's it. And that's it. So, look, the moral of the story is, you know, missing trades suck. Missing your game plan sucks. Missing everything that you work for and you prepare for, it sucks. But here's the new good news. 
we're happy, we're healthy, right? If you think about all the bad things that life can bring, right? Like really ugly things that life can bring. You could have been born into a third world country with no running water, having, you know, listen, it's not the end of the world. And that's the most important part. Trading is just what it is. You'll have good days, you have bad days, and you have days that you'll just sit there and you go, I can't believe I missed everything. Such is life. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Tomorrow's a day before, well, two days before uh, Labor Day weekend. Let's have an open mind. Let's have an open bias. God willing, I'll see you all there. Take care.